I'm here with this week's goodies. So I've got a couple of, I'm gonna sort of old, but that's okay. I can still share. What is really old is this from Glade. And I actually just found the bag <laughs> a couple of days ago as I was cleaning up. And now I'll get to use them. This is the spring collection from Glade. So I have something in each of the scents from the spring collection. I have the Playful Paradise scents, which is Ocean Mist, Orange Blossom, and Sandalwood. It looks like this. I have the oil candle refills. I also have the Polka Dot Petal scent, which is Honeysuckle, Lily of the Valley, and Pineapple. Um, I have the oil refills. And then I have a spring collection glass holder for the oil refills. But the scent in here is Magic Meadow, which is fresh grass, morning dew, and white jasmine. So this is what the holder looks like, and then this is what the box looks like. I don't know how many of you got to pick these up. I got all of them, but Target had all of them, and it was like a three for five or two for five or something deal. Uh, so they weren't like on clearance or anything when I bought them. From Marshalls, I think the rest of this is Marshalls and Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So all of these are from Marshalls. No, two of these are from Marshalls and one from TJ Maxx. If you are looking for earth therapeutic stuff. Before you buy any Earth Therapeutic stuff in, I know it's sold in Ulta. I don't think it's in Sephora, but I know it's in Ulta. They have a, 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 a very wide selection of items for Earth Therapeutics. Before you buy anything, please check Marshalls and TJ Maxx first. Because they get their overstock. I don't know if they're getting Ulta's overstock. I don't know if they're getting Earth Therapeutics overstock. They're getting somebody's overstock of Earth Therapeutic stuff. The tools as well as the products, the spa products, like this. The loofah exfoliating scrub in aloe vera and kiwi. And it's always really cheap. Like this is $3.99. If you and it says compare at $6. If you went to um Ulta, this would be $10. I mean the Earth Therapeutic stuff at Ulta is really highly priced. This is the foot repair therapeutic balm. It has aloe vera, tea tree oil, and chamomile. I have this. I think I have every tube of Earth Therapeutic stuff that you get for your feet or hands from Earth Therapeutic. This is a foot scrub that has tea tree, wild mint, chamomile, and pumice. Oh, this looks really good. All these are $3.99. Also, this just, I couldn't, I put it down and I left it there. Then I had to come back and get it later. Because I have never seen this before. It's from Dead Sea Minerals. And it's pure body mud from the Dead Sea. Uh, and it says it's made in Israel. It's Dead Sea Mud. Ingredients, silt, Dead Sea Mud. For external use only, not for facial treatment. And this is to give yourself a body uh, Dead Sea Mud treatment. Dead Sea Mud is famous for its ability to, to relieve joint pains, muscle aches, and skin disorders. This was $4.99. It says compare it $8. And since I have purchased this, I've gone back and I've seen it in there. In the It's in the beauty section. It's just laying because it's just a you know bag. But you may want to pick it up. Now, this... Everybody knows who Cynthia Rowley is. She's a very famous designer. She now has a line of bath and body products, but I've only seen it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So I don't know if it was something that she was selling somewhere else and it didn't take off. Because I've seen hand soap, body wash, uh, soap, actual bars of soap, and then these two products. And they're packaged beautifully, which of course makes total sense with her. This is the exfoliating sugar scrub. Look how gorgeous it is with the little ribbon. And there was a ton of it. So many people bought this. Because there were like 12 different scents. All of it stacked up on a shelf in Marshalls. I decided to buy this as well as the body butter. This is the green tea body butter. This is in green tea. Because uh, I thought that was kind of original. It's just a very light, tranquil scent. So it's not a heavy scent at all. It's just very light and fresh. So I like the scent. Um, if you're wondering, green tea, but I like it. I'm going to do a pedicure with it. That's what I'm going to use it for. There was just, there were boxes everywhere. I mean, an entire shelf almost was covered. I go back the next week, all of it's gone. So 
Somebody picked it up for something. Uh, this was $5.99, the scrub, and this was $4.99, the body butter. And, no, not last but not least. <laughs> I think what I'm most excited about are these two products, which I actually picked up recently, and I posted about these on Facebook. My nose is running. Oh, these allergies are killing me. Pacifica body butter, full size, 17 ounce bottles for 10 bucks. So I oh, was fortunate enough to get the Indian coconut nectar, which smells unreal, and the Tahitian gardenia, which also smells unreal. 10 bucks is a really great deal for this. Um, compare at $16, which totally makes sense. And I posted on Facebook pictures of the other ones they had. They had several different scents. And if you see it, I highly recommend you snatch it up. The other thing they had were bottles of the lotion, body lotion, in this size for $10 as well. But I didn't get that. I never get giant bottles of scented lotion. I just don't. So um, I have the hand body butters. So I'm going to use that. And that'll be enough. And now, last but not least, is this. It is from Corez. And I haven't seen the Corez stuff in Marshalls and TJ Maxx in a long time. This is their Pomegranate Regimen Kit Balancing and All Day Oil Control for Oily and Combination Skin. So you get a cream gel, a pomegranate mask, a pomegranate scrub, a white tea facial cleanser, and an evening primrose eye cream. I've tried the eye cream before. And the um, pomegranate cream gel is sort of the moisturizer. I'm really looking forward to trying this because I do need help with my oily skin. This was $14.99. I also love Chorus because they have expiration dates on all their products. So it says the expiration date is November 2013, but it'll be gone before then. But very cute, so I will be sharing that. I'll do an unboxing of this. And that is it for this week's goodies. If you have picked up any of this stuff, let me know in the comments and let me know what you think of it. I know some people always say EOS, but I like saying EOS, but I know that's not how it's pronounced. This is the Evolution of Smooth Ultra Moisturizing Shave Cream. I have it in Vanilla Bliss, Pomegranate Raspberry, and Lavender Jasmine. This is a really, really, really good shaving cream. I find it highly moisturizing. My skin was not ashy at all afterwards. Technically, you can shave wet or dry with it, meaning... You don't have to put water on your legs to use this shave cream. It's also from Evolution of Smooth, which makes really great lip products as well as hand lotions. I like the lip products. They're okay. was not that crazy about the hand lotion. Um, so it's made with natural aloe, oat, shea butter, and antioxidant vitamins E and C. It doesn't foam up. And the bottle is just so gorgeous. It's got these grippy spots and indentations for your fingers to go, which I like. This is perfect for if you're in the shower. I actually didn't use it in the shower. I use it at the sink. But it is supposed to be depressed. And I think somebody opened all of these. Because in the store, it wasn't really, there wasn't a lot of plastic around. It was, but not a lot. But for travel, I think that's it. For travel... You can push this all the way down and then screw it. There's threads on here. So you can kind of lock it. I think that's more what this for. Because it wasn't down when I got it. I don't think so. Maybe this one was. I also got these on sale. Which was really, really nice. They were $1.99 a piece. Because otherwise it's three sixty dollars something. At least in the Walgreens where I am. Was it worth three sixty? I would say yes. It is really moisturizing. I was kind of surprised. Better than the foamy, um, I'm trying to think of the names. Uh, for some reason they're escaping me. You know, the regular foam women's shower gels. Even the gels that turn to cream are not as good as this. The, um, oh, I can't think of the name of it now. And I have one on my sink. It is, I can't think of the name of it. Cannot think of the name of it. All right, hold on. I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to get it, and I'll be right back. Okay, I had meant to compare it to these. 
that was not my plan for this review, which is why I wasn't ready. But yeah, it's just as good as this. The Skintimit brand. Skintimit came out with these last year. And they're cream shaves, moisturizing cream shaves. This is along the lines of this. So these are super creamy and moisturizing. If you don't get a chance to get your hands on these, this is very, very close to it. And these are really nice. They are very, very moisturizing. What this is, what this is, is better than is this, these kind. Now this is a shave cream, Pure Silk by Barbasol. So it comes out as a foam. And then Skintimit also makes the gel shaving cream. Starts as a gel and then when you start rubbing it, it turns into a cream. This is better than that. And this is better than this, just the regular cream. That is the same for this. These are on par. These are equally good. But these cream moisturizing ones, at least for me, are better than the canned foam and the canned gel. I also thought this rinsed really, really, really well out of the razor that I was using. So, so it wasn't too creamy, it wasn't too moisturizing when you felt like you weren't going to be able to finish what you were doing because you were spending so much time rinsing the razor. So I really like these. Was crazy excited to be able to get all three of them for cheap because I have wanted to try this for the longest. And they were clearing out their stock in, in uh, Walgreens for some reason. So I got it at a discount. So if you haven't tried it, if you see it on sale, absolutely, positively grab it. My favorite has been the Lavender Jasmine, mainly because I just, I love the scent of lavender. I mean, Vanilla Bliss and the other one's okay. They are all, they all feel and work the same, so it's just a scent choice. It just comes down to a scent choice. So I would get the Lavender Jasmine again. I wouldn't get the Vanilla Bliss or, Vanilla Bliss or the Pomegranate Raspberry again. But that's me. So let me know in the comments, if you tried the shave cream, what did you think of it? Have you tried, oh, this lighting is not. Have you tried the shave cream? Have you tried the Skin Skintimate shave cream? What did you think of this? I really like this. This is good, too. And this is, this is a buck. So this is like my go-to backup desperation shave cream. This is like one step above conditioner. <laughs> Using conditioner to shave with. Which isn't bad. Of course, you can do that, but... Um, yeah, so this is just, you know, but it's okay too, but the other are superior. So. I'm back everybody with some more beauty news. So what we have here are the e.l.f. lotion wipes and makeup removing wipes that I saw at Burlington Coat Factory. They were just laying on a shelf like this. So remember to check there for these products. You never know. Also at Burlington Co. Factory, tons of great organizing items. Now, the last three times I've been there, they have had these. And when I saw them, the first thing I thought of was magazines. But I guess, really, you could store whatever you want in them. They're upright storage containers with handles. And this is what they look like inside. But they were tall. So my first thought went to magazines. I guess technically you could put file folders in them if you wanted to. You could put books in them if you wanted to. If you were, had a bunch of a certain kind of book that you were reading or studying. Because you can carry them from space to space. You could put your crochet stuff in there. Like whatever you wanted to put in there. Here are all of the different patterns they had. Now some of them they had. It was a set. So there were actually two more within the bigger one and then others they were just it was just the one there so be on the lookout for that I thought these were really cute now I also discovered tons of Yankee candles in Burlington Co. Factory and we all know Yankee candles are ridiculously expensive we're talking $27 for one candle all of these candles the three wick flat ones as well as the tall tumbler ones all of them $10 um, and they had scents, like, year-round scents. A lot of them were summery scents, but for the price of one Yankee Candle, you can have two if you are so inclined. I think it's a great deal, and the candles were all really fragrant. I smelled a lot of them. They all had the plastic covers on them. There were just a lot of great candle deals. So here's all of them that were there. So I wanted to give you a full shot of the shelf 
and let you see. So this is the one side of the shelf. And then I have another shot coming up of the end. So they had, I like the straight sided jars. I don't like the, the, the other kind of jars with the curved top because I just find that they get really ugly as the candle burns down because of the soot. So I like the straight sided jars. That's just me. But yeah, definitely check out Burlington Co. Factory for your candle needs. I don't think you'll be too disappointed. This I came across, it was only $3 or $3.99. I didn't get it though because I couldn't find any refills. It's a portable scent diffuser that had this little, um, it wasn't like a wax tart. It was something in a cup and you put it inside and it blew the fragrance out. There was a battery involved. I, as far as I could tell, it heated up the cup and then of course the fragrance emanated from the heated cup and then there was a little fan in there to like you know push the fragrance fragrance out even more so i didn't get it i thought it was really cute though because it was like the jars that they have here's some more yankee candles at on an end cap these were actually little tiny ones they were only three bucks or two bucks just a ton of stuff there i was really surprised when i went in and saw this i don't think i ever noticed this shelf before one more kind of candle they had there. This is the kind of candle they are currently selling in Target. This same label design, the same jar size. So yeah, check these outlet stores before you buy anything in the regular stores because you just never know. I was just obsessed with storage when I was in Burlington Co. Factory and I don't know if you know, but... They have a lot more stuff there than coats. I was just... I have gotten so many great baskets there. I've really been into organizing and separating things at home. And I've been on the lookout for baskets. And you know, in most places, baskets are like crazy expensive. Especially to get a match set. They want to <laughs> charge $20 a basket. I mean, it should not be that expensive to get organized. But here, there were whole sets that you could get for like $25. For $25, bucks, I could have three baskets as opposed to one. These were the coolest ones. I love these. They had like a, they kind of bowled out on the side. So they were more shaped like a leaf if you were looking down on them from above. They weren't straight sided. And I loved the handles. These were a little more pricey. They were like... $11 for the biggest one and then the smallest one was $6 but still cute now these I loved because they stack as you can see there's the bigger basket on the bottom and then you could fit two smaller ones on top as long as the items in your basket on the bottom weren't that high so definitely if you're looking for organizational stuff head to Burlington Co. Factory there's a ton of stuff there as well as jewelry. And now, this is something that I didn't expect to find in Burlington Co. Factory. Just gorgeous earrings and bracelets and necklaces. They had so much stuff. I hadn't been in a while, so I guess I had forgotten. So here's one of the pairs of earrings. I have a bunch of pairs coming up. So it's just going to scroll through a bunch of them. But, yeah. Really cool. These I liked, and they're not really showing that well in the picture, but there was like a rhinestone. There were tons of rhinestones on this, so it was kind of like a grape cluster of rhinestones. I thought they were cute. I don't think they're representing that well on, in this picture, though. These were beautiful, and they were so light. They weren't heavy at all, and the reflection off of them was just oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So yes, definitely check out Burlington Co. Factory for your jewelry needs. The only thing was like you need to know what colors or what metal finish you want going in. Here are three of the 
new shower gels from Bath and Body Works. This is the, I took this in the store at the sink where you could try all three. And did I try them? I actually didn't, but I took this picture. I did purchase them, so I will have reviews coming up as well as them being featured in a goodies segment very shortly. Now we are in... Was this a Marshalls? Yes, this was a Marshalls. And I paid 20 bucks for this and wait until I flip it over and you see how much it is now. In Marshalls, it's the Body Butter Duos. It came out in January, February of this year. $6.99, I know. So be on the lookout for these. I've seen them in several Marshalls. Now the one thing was that there was no plastic seal around it. And you know how that goes in Marshalls. I don't feel so bad about that in the body shop, but in Marshalls, hmm. I really want one of these. It is one of those toothbrush sanitizers. And it's so funny because I was thinking about I was thinking about one of these when I went into the store. So I go in there and here it is. But the one I wanted was like a singular one for just one toothbrush. They were in there all over the place a few weeks ago. And now, of course, as soon as I'm looking for one, they don't have one. So this is for several toothbrushes. I believe it was, I want to say $14.99. Because the one I'm thinking of for an individual toothbrush was $10. So yes, very cool. And I really want to get one of these. I think they're, I think they're great. Now, more Cora's products, people. Now, the Quaritin and Oak skincare set that's on the right, they had a bunch of these in this Marshalls, and I've already I've seen them in TJ Maxx as well. Same price, uh, $14.99. Now, this was something I hadn't seen anywhere yet. This is the yogurt regimen kit for oily and dehydrated skin. So for skin that was oily and dehydrated at the same time. Now this one was a little different from the other oily skin kit that I picked up. This one has two full size products in it and the other one I don't think the products are full sized. Here are two of the shower gels that came out from the body shop a while ago. But I didn't want this scent. This was um, Fig and Rosemary. And I'm sorry it did not smell good. <laughs> it did not smell good at all. And this was only $3.99. I really wanted to try it, though. They had full-size SE smoothies for $3.99 in this particular Marshalls. So be on the lookout for that. And as you can see, the Body Shop stuff is now in there. So be on the lookout for those. Now, this upcoming product line being in there really surprised me. More of the Nicholas Pericone Super products. I remember when these were in Sephora, and they were advertising them all over the place. They were pretty pricey in Sephora. This is their, his skincare line for younger women. Um, obviously, it did not sell too well, because now they're all over TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Really shocked to see these in there. Yankee Candles, Spoonful of Sugar collection. Now, I, I remember these in the Yankee catalogs. There were a couple of other sugar scents. I don't remember what they were. The warm sugar to me smelled better than the sugared flower petals. These were $8. I have seen this only in one Walgreens. It is Revlon's 2012 Summer Collection by Gucci Westman. It's Escapism. And I wasn't impressed with a lot of these colors. Some of the nail polish was okay, but... I think I liked last summer's stuff better. I'm not a blush person, so, so this it just didn't do anything for me, really. The blushes are gorgeous. So they had three cream blushes, but I was just like, meh. And I really didn't like this eyeshadow either. I don't know. I felt like the colors weren't going together or something. I don't know. Because here's the eyeshadow. Not a quad. Um, I forgot what these are called. I love the patterns on the eyeshadows though. But I wasn't feeling these colors. I just I just took this picture to share it with you guys. So if you like them, be on the lookout for them. I've only seen this in Walgreens. Now this is something I was interested in. An overnight leave-on peel from Garnier Fructis. So this was something different. And there were $2 off coupons on the display. So you might want to check it out. Very interesting. These are from Walgreens again. And this I hadn't seen before. 
Avino's Positively Nourishing Energizing Lotion. So here's pomegranate and grapefruit, and then lavender and chamomile, a calming one. I love Avino products. I'm using some of their shower um, gels now, and they're great. So be on the lookout for these.